Okay, hello everybody. Today we're going to look at another piece of great work made by the man, Alec Murphy himself. One of the few people carrying the legacy of Temple OS by writing and porting software to the operating system. There are very few people out there actively keeping the keeping the dream alive, keeping the ideals alive. And he's one of them. So and what we've got here, as you can see, is Chocolate Doom. And if you don't know what that is, before I explain further, before I get to the meat, is that Chocolate Doom is if you don't know what source ports are source ports is like is like you, you get you get the game doom and then you want to make it so it works on other systems so you do uh you take the source code and you change it up a bit and now you got it to work and that's a source port so doom what ran on dos systems if you want to play if you wanted to play it purely vanilla you would have to use DOS, MS-DOS, or FreeDOS, or DOSBox. Uh, but Chocolate Doom is a source port that lets you run it on Windows, or Mac, Linux, BSD, whatever. And now, my man, Alec Murphy's ported Chocolate Doom over to Temple OS. It's a, it's a work in progress. It's a... It only works with the shareware Doom and retail, you know, not not retail, but the first release of Doom and then Ultimate Doom. Though those are a little different because they got, you know, one's three episodes, one four episodes, and shareware is only one episode. So you can try Doom 2 with this. It kind of works, but as per my experience, it crashes. Now, maybe in the, the last, like, with one of the updates he did, maybe that happens less. I need to try that on myself. But he himself says he has not tested Doom 2. He just intended it for the first one. And when you download this, it ships with the shareware. So, if you want to get the full game, you gotta import the wad yourself. We're first going to mess around with just installing it. We won't mess with any of the files except where it is needed. So... First things first, make sure you have this installed, okay? Make sure you have the IMDS toolkit installed. Then, when you got that done, go download it, okay, hit that zip. It's gonna ask to save. I already got it saved, so I'm gonna hit cancel. Cut the got right here, you know, you know, you know. And then, uh, yeah, you gonna wanna export that to your desktop. So let's do that right now. Let's do that right now. I already had this open. Uh, skip these files. So yeah, I already see. Yeah, I already see. Yeah, I already see. I got it over here. But right, actually, you know what? You know what? Let's delete all of those. Let's do it again. Maybe that was an old version. Do it again. All right. Cool. Now we're gonna go. I'm gonna do mount image. You should have a Temple OS VM installed. You better, you better, otherwise, otherwise you're gonna be in trouble. I don't know why you're watching this video if you ain't got it. Click on that. Why the heck is this two gigs? Open mount. I probably had it to fill the whole thing. Okay, so now we're in our Temple OS. Um, Full hard drive, our virtual hard drive, our VMDK. Make sure it's a VMDK. I don't know if it works with VDI, but I was instructed before to do that, so that's what I'm going to do for best results. Best results. And uh, we're going to go to. We have this Alec folder. I'm going to call it. Just I'm going to call it Doom. And then. Copy paste that there. Okay, 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 okay. 
before I continue, you know, you know what I've done here, you know, I've copy pasted, right? So everything should be fine. These should be the exact files that are here. But, but, ah, there's something we have to mention. You see this, this is lowercase. And you see how the program is going to load it? It insists on being lowercase, right? Yeah, well, about that. About that. There is a problem here. And you're going to see it. You're going to see that problem. So, what's this mount? Go on, unmount it. Yeah, it says that it's doing whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's open up virtual box. Let's go over here. Click on, actually no, we can open it now. Let's open it up. All right. We got this. So we got our temple was open. This is a previous thing I had. Gonna go click on Alec. Wait a minute. Oh right, 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 right. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the this is the one in home. I have another folder called Alec. This one. Okay, Doom. Aha! You see that? That's uppercase Doom one dot wide. So now we gotta go here and we gotta change this. And we, we save by pressing, I, I did control S and I'm gonna press escape so that it, it saves it basically twice. Okay, so you see that run.ac? Don't do that. Don't do include run.ac. Uh, for whatever reason, we have to enter debug mode in order to run this without crashing. So let's go do that. Gonna hit dbg, make sure the D is capital. It shows you that we're in debug mode, make sure not to move your mouse. And then we're gonna do hashtag include run or pound sign. Sorry, pound sign. Bad habits, bad habits, you know. Um, please do the needful. <laughs> huh. That's not good. What gives? What gives? Supposed to work. Let's try that again. Do that again, do that again, do that again. Oh, one thing I think we forgot. Hold on, hold on. We need to check something. I don't think I, uh, I, I think I messed up. So let's go back to that load, I think. Let's check how it checks for the file. Okay, now let's check run. Okay. Well, never mind. I thought that was, I thought maybe it was a simple, uh, as a similar issue with how we had another program the, the bad apple it reminded me of bad apple for a second where it um let's see if we can just run it like this okay so this is gonna crash at one point or another what we're doing here i didn't go into debug mode and i'm pretty sure it's gonna crash uh, but that works for instance You'll be able to play for like five minutes and then it'll crash. I don't recommend that. Let's see if I can run again. 
Okay, and that's another thing you need to look out for. If you try and include run twice, it uh it doesn't like that. So just close this window. Close both of them for that matter. <laughs> and I will go and try this again. I hope there was nothing wrong. Titan. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Debug. That is frustrating. That's extremely frustrating. Okay. Um, whatever that may be, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I will, I've got questions, but this, I think this works in virtual or this works in VMware as well. Uh, I maybe have forgotten which one I played the most on. So let's, let's do the same thing with VMware. Uh, my VMware stuff's in a different one. So I think, what's it called? Yeah, Virtual Machines, Temple OS. I'm going to open this one this time. And we're going to redo that. Re redo that. So, Alec, Doom. And we're going to send that stuff over again okay ah uh, no nah. i don't want that okay <laughs> all right dismount yes all right now pardon the smaller screen size i wanted to do this in virtual box so i don't have to modify the like I don't have to do this hackery like it's uh, this type of tiny window. Now I got to go into OBS and change that real quick. Actually, no, I can just change it in editing, but I'll leave this for reference to see how horrible it is. A VMware Workstation Pro. Oh, yeah, that can do it. That can that allows you screen, screen, change your screen size, but not, not with player. I don't, I don't feel like pirating it. So that's a that yeah, that's an issue. Okay, once again we have to go into load.hc and we have to change this to doom one dot what all caps. Control S escape and then we will do uh debug and then hashtag include run. Pound sign include run. Dang it. Oh no. Maybe I had a different version. Maybe there's something wrong with this version. Uh, all I can say is that I'm going to, from this point forward in the video, I'm going to test it. If it lasts for five minutes, then I'm going to assume there's nothing wrong with it running in the... A normal mode like in the without needing to use debug mode i'm going to launch virtual box again and hopefully it doesn't crash hopefully if it does well i'm going to still upload this video because that's the common one that's that's the one that alec has up the, he gave me an iso but uh he said he was gonna work on it i'll i'll wait a little bit longer before i do what i did with bad apple again because i don't want i, I don't want to do that i don't want to like have other people's work on my what's it called i don't want to have other people's work on my github because, you know, maybe he wants 
he, he doesn't like that. He's not confronting me about it, but I don't like assuming things. I just really like that program. Uh, yes, as you can see, there's no there's no button there. <laughs> this is the shareware wallet, so it's it's got a different version of the E1 M1. But it runs well, so it's it's running well so far. You'll definitely be able to like speed run a few levels. Like I, I know this won't crash in E1 M1. It'll it'll survive at least one level. <laughs> And if you're wondering why there's no sound, uh, it's it works a bit in VMware, but I didn't want to play it because it's it's kind of uh, a mess. The audio is a mess. Like it works, but it scratches your ears a lot, and you can experience that for yourself later. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll edit it in, I don't know. I don't think I will, no. <laughs> I am I won't because I want Alec to finish the work. I don't want incomplete features to be shown off. I hope he finishes it now. It's been a month since his last update. Maybe he has things to do. He some it sometimes happens. He's working on that project Erythros, and there would be times when it'd be months before he's worked on Erythros, and I sometimes lose hope that he's working on it. But then he'd come back. He'd come back up live stream on Twitch or whatever, do a little bit, and be gone. Sporadic work. But I don't, I don't know. I don't blame him for that. He's, he's one of the few working on anything Temple OS related at all. You go onto the Temple OS distro, and you see <laughs> there's nobody working on anything. The uh, you go on Temple OS uh, Discord. I said not distro. Discord. You go on a Temple OS Discord. They have like a programming channel. But, and there's like several hundred, several thousand members. Nobody's working on anything. Uh, not, not related to Temple OS itself, of course, anyways. Besides Alec, and besides Tom, and a couple of other people. A couple other, but it... I clench my teeth, and as I say this, I, they're not, it's not big stuff. It's like a few demos. Uh, an incomplete textbook that's like 20 pages long with a lot of empty space. Um, yeah, it's is not great. So far, so good though. This 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 game, we I've I'm surprised it hasn't crashed. Maybe there's no longer a need to run in debug mode. If if that's the case, I'm just gonna keep recording until something goes wrong or I, I end up dying which that will probably happen in E1 M5 like that 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 level sometimes gives me trouble when I'm using only keyboard controls and no proper strafing like you can strafe but I have to use the comma and period to do that and that's not that fun May, yeah, maybe there's no need for debug mode anymore. Usually, I'd get to the minigun and it would crash when I'm playing on ultra violence and I'm actually trying to like kill everything or whatever. But we're so far so good. 
other things to mention. Uh, you know, this game is going to be running at 35 frames per second because it's Chocolate Doom. Don't expect it to be running at 60 FPS. It's not the fault of the, of Alec or the people who made Chocolate Doom itself. This is just how Doom is was originally meant to be played at. And if you disagree, well, go and make your own source port. Don't complain. Like, go port the other source port like PR Boom or whatever and be part of the fight. I don't have complaints, so I don't need to do that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm the, I still have a little bit of street cred, because I made that paint program, that made, that, that alone made me <laughs> do more than 95, 99% of people who say they like Temple OS, I've done more than 99% of people who like Temple OS, considering there's probably thousands of them, and, uh, there's only like, we'll say 10 programmers, 100 at best, 10, 100 pro people who've like done any actual programming on the OS at all. Drivers, network, like, like network drivers, like those dudes who made Shrine OS. There's this dude who, call, who made a Tinker OS. I got to check that out probably because he said he got USB support to work, but it probably doesn't like like I I since it's using you know it it still wants IDE drives and all that like I don't know if I could boot it on a real computer of mine like bare metal but maybe I'll be interested to see if he's the I'll, I gotta check out if he's done anything other than uh, drivers not to say those are bad that's just, that's the most important thing to do I'm just saying that if it'd be worth showing it off on a virtual machine. Because those aren't changes you see on a virtual machine. Those are changes that you have to see on a actual computer. He got like USB to work. Like that's amazing. Like, uh, it's, it's he's he's getting to work at least if it's not like as functional as someone would call functional. But that's his plan, and he has something I've seen. I've checked out his GitHub before, and Tom told me. That it was at the very least limited support. So, you know, you can't hate. He did it. He did what Terry Davis didn't want to do. And he did it. Limited support or not. You're going to be a hater if you're going to discredit him for that. Anyways, we're at E1 M3. That's amazing. And the thing about Chocolate Doom Source Port is that this is one of the few that actually got the transparency effect to work properly for the Pinky Demon. They call them Spectres of the, for the transparent ones. <laughs> So there is an advantage of playing Chocolate Doom over something like GZ Doom or Win95 Doom, for instance. And you can play it on uh, one of the world's best operating systems ever. Oh, it crashed. Well, two levels. It, it gets through two levels. Hmm. I will investigate later, maybe. But yeah, there's... Uh, there's Temple West Gaming Episode 2, folks. It... It ended on a sour note, but I think it's it's something simple I missed that I couldn't get it running in debug mode. Or maybe something simple that needs to be fixed. But it is there. It works. It's just unfortunate that this happens. 
thanks you guys thank you guys for watching though and uh yeah Ho hopefully there will be an update i hope like like even like even if i do get debug mode to work i it should i it would be nice if it could work without that like that's what i would look forward to but once again i call upon any of you who know who know how to do it who have the guts to do it to come and join and if you don't know how to contribute then call upon people who do all right see you guys later